Greetings, this is Kara Vaughn from 106.7 WTLC and happy Black History Month. And I have to tell you, it has truly been a joy and an honor to highlight those doing amazing things in Indianapolis and our Black History Month makers that continue to strive and do good in the community. And I'm actually here now with Wild Style. We're gonna chit chat a little bit. He is a storyteller, he is a producer, and you're gonna join us during our Black History Month campaign because we're doing something special this year. Every year we highlight those making history. This year, we're gonna have a reception, a networking reception, an awards ceremony, and you're gonna be part of the event and sharing your stories on Indiana and specifically Black Indianapolis. So welcome and it's glad to see you. Hey, good to see you too. I was excited um, when I was perusing through your social media to hear about all the wonderful stories that you have um, just, you know, curated uh, regarding uh, black history here uh, in Indianapolis, as well as um, your roller skate culture in uh, Skate for Self. So we'll talk about that because I used to love skating back in the day. I don't know if my balance is the same <laughs> anymore, though. But um, share with us what you'll be sharing at our reception on Thursday at AMP at... Um, 16 Tech, and also, what else you're doing in the city during Black History Month? Uh, so at the reception, I don't know exactly what I'm, <laughs> I'm sharing yet. There, there's so much to, to share about Black Indianapolis and mm -hmm. the culture. Yeah. Um, I know, like, from my personal perspective, uh, you know, my, my family came from the uh, Indiana Avenue, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it was not just that strip, but it was, you know, a large, uh, area, but I think a lot of people, you get into the history, they're gonna find that that just about everybody that's from here has has an ancestor that, that lived on Indiana Avenue at some point. Mm -hmm. They didn't live there; they they probably lived in uh, Martindale. So one of the two. But I'll probably be sharing some history about that, showing uh, kind of sharing about the, how great it was. Like Black Indianapolis was. Thriving. Thriving <laughs> to the point where I, yeah, I think everybody knows about Madam C.J. Walker. Mm -hmm. uh, what people don't know, I, you know, if you saw the, the Netflix uh, series, it was not quite accurate. But mm -hmm. what people don't know is that she was already a successful business, businesswoman mm. before she got here. Mm -hmm. uh, but she was tipped off that Indianapolis was just this hot hotbed for, for, for black people. And she came here and then she became a millionaire within 10 years. Like the fir first self-made uh, 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 woman, black woman millionaire within 10 years of coming here after she was tipped off that this was the place to be for black people. Absolutely. So what, um, and I would say in most recent weeks or months, did you learn about the Avenue or Indianapolis black history that you didn't know before? You was like, hmm, I didn't know that. <laughs> Share that with us. So there is a bridge that is still there at about 15th and Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, the canal is gone there, but it used to be a the canal actually, it's downtown it used to run all the way up uh, past 16th Street. And that bridge was still there. And I looked at it and, and saw, I think this is, probably a, a 90, maybe a 100 year old bridge and was able to find some pictures from the area that showed all the neighborhoods that are now like sitting under I-65. Um, but it was, you know, beautiful neighborhoods, all these different churches and everything and uh, um, amazing community. And um, a lot of those pictures I just recently uh, was able to find you know, of black people out enjoying themselves and, and living life in these long, gone neighborhoods. I think that's um, such an important story to tell and pictures to see, you know, that our ancestors were living life and doing it in such a grand way. You know, I think so, so many times we're so focused on the work and working that we don't realize that we're not living to our full potential. So maybe seeing those pictures and having them embedded in our minds to always have us go back to living, loving, and having a good time like we are on Thursday night. Yes, <laughs> yes. So I can't wait to hear more of your stories on Thursday. It's happening at AMP at 16 Tech. Would love for you to join us at five o'clock, February 23rd, right after work. Come on out. 
uh, check out the networking event and storytelling by Wild Style. And you don't want to miss out on the award ceremony as well. And I want to thank our sponsors who are making this happen with us for Black History Month. Uh, MyIPS.com, Indianapolis Schools, and Eskenazi Health, and of course, Wild Style curating the stories. We love it.